if you have two current carrying conductor placed close to each other, uh, a force will also be generated. Just now is you put one current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. One current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. We have magnetic field north south, okay, and then uh, current carrying conductor. There's a current flow. That's what we discussed just now. But if you put two current carrying conductor close to each other, a force will also be generated. A force will also be generated. And that's also due to the interactions between the two magnetic field and produce a catapult field. Eh? Same things occurs. Okay, same thing occurs. Eh? Now let's see this one. If the currents are in the same direction, then two wires will attract each other. And if the currents are in opposite direction, the two wires will repel each other. So when the two current carrying conductors are brought close to each other, the magnetic fields of the two conductors will combine together to form a new magnetic field. Let me show you how the magnetic field is formed. Okay. Let's say we have two current carrying conductor. Okay. Both the current flow in the same directions. Eh? The current flow in the same directions and they are brought close to each other. Now when the current flow in the same direction, so this is the uh this is the the magnetic field. Okay, this is a magnetic field. Eh? Let's check the directions of the magnetic field. Eh? Let's check the directions of the magnetic field. Now we can see that at this point here, the field are in opposite directions, right? Okay, this one go in, this one come out. Eh? Okay, so they are in opposite directions. So if the fields are in opposite directions, it will make the field stronger or weaker. What do you think? Here, it will make the field become stronger or weaker? Weaker, yes. So it will make uh, the field become weaker. Okay, now let's draw another one. Let's say for uh, this one, okay, it has another one. Uh, the field which is uh, the field is a big circle, okay? A big circle for this one. Eh? That is a field for this, this conductors, okay? A big circle. So now I, I want you to see the directions of the field here. So here they are in opposite directions. Eh? The field are in opposite directions. So therefore it will make, it make the field become weaker. But here, the few are in the same directions, right? Same directions, uh, both also pointing inside. So it will make the field become stronger. It will make the field become stronger. Therefore, we have a weaker field here, stronger field at the side. Weaker field in the middle and stronger field at the side. That is for the two, the currents are in the same directions. Uh, current in the same directions. Let me show you the, the field patterns. Uh. So these are field patterns. Uh. So you can see that in the middle here, uh, it's a weaker field. It's a weaker field. And at the side here, it's a stronger field. Strong field, weak field, weak field, strong field. Now, uh, this is called a catapult field as well. Uh. This is called a catapult field. Just now we learned that for catapult field, a force will be produced. A catapult force will be produced. Eh? Uh, the force is from a stronger field to the weaker field, right? So this is a stronger field, eh? stronger field, weaker field. So a force will exert on the conductors that move the conductor from a stronger field to a weaker field. And here also, this is uh, it will move the conductor from the stronger field to the weaker field. The stronger field push the conductor to the weaker field. Stronger field push this, push this conductor to the weaker field. And therefore, therefore the effect is these two wires, it will try to get close to each other, right? Yeah, because there is a force that moves them close to each other. So then we say the two wires will attract each other. The two wires attract each other. So, so when there is a two current carrying conductor brought close to each other and the directions of the currents are the same, then these two wire they will attract each other. Okay. Now this case, uh, we have two current carrying conductors, but the currents are in the opposite directions. So this is the field. This one is anti-clockwise and this one is clockwise. And let's check this point here. Okay, at that point in the middle of the two conductors here, we can see that the directions of the field is the same. The directions of the field is the same here. And therefore, 
it will produce a stronger fill here. Let's say for this one, okay, it has another fill. For this wire, it produces another fill, right? Okay, one here, another one is here, okay? So the directions of the fill, eh? So we can see here that uh, the fill is in the opposite direction. This one come out, this one go in. Eh? The fill is in the opposite directions here. So therefore, uh, there's a weaker fill here. Weaker fill here, weaker fill here. So this one is a stronger fill in between the two conductors and weaker fill, weak fill at the side. Strong fill in the middle and weak fill at the side. So let's see the fill patterns. Okay, the fill patterns look something like this. So we can see that there are strong fill in the middle and weak fill at the side. Okay, strong fill in the middle and weak fill at the sides. Then same thing happens. Uh, a force will be produced to move the conductor from a stronger fill to a weaker fill. This is a stronger fill, this is a weaker fill. The force will try to push this conductor from the stronger fill to the weaker fill. And this one also from a stronger fill to the weaker fill. And uh, so these two wire will be push away from each other. So we say the two wire will repel each other. The two wires uh, will repel each other. If the directions of the current are in the opposite directions. So for these uh, cur two current carrying conductors brought close to each other, uh, usually they, they seldom ask you to draw the, the fill lines. Okay, They seldom ask you to draw the fill lines. But usually they will ask you whether they will attract each other or they will repel each other. So same directions that will attract, opposite directions that will repel. Uh, they, usually they won't ask you to draw the fill lines, but they may give you uh, a few, few patterns uh, in objective questions. They give you a few, a few patterns and then they ask you which one is the correct one. So then you need to know, you need to know the patterns of the magnetic field. The patterns of the magnetic field. Of course, if you can draw, that's very good. Eh? Uh, but at least you must know the patterns of the magnetic field line because in the exam, uh, especially in objective questions, uh, they may ask you which of the following are correct uh, for the field patterns when uh, two current carrying conductors are brought close to each other. So that is uh, two current carrying conductors.